everybody, if you're looking for an inexpensive camcorder to record video on the go, especially if you want to make your own videos and upload them to YouTube, uh, then I definitely want to show you this little camera. This camera goes for $124 and it's a flip video ultra series camera. This camera uh, records about 60 minutes of uh, video at 640 by 480 with 30 frames per second. Now it does record them in AVI, which it does put them in there, but if you install the software, you can do a lot of stuff. You can actually grab the video from here and upload it directly to YouTube, which is really neat. Uh, it's a quick recording function. It has a one point shoot and record. Um, it has a USB connection on the side of it. There are no cards or anything you need on it. It already has a built-in memory. So the camera goes for about $124. So it's if within your budget, if you're trying to save some money, this will definitely give you a bang for your buck because you will be able to record good quality video at a good price. So uh, stay tuned in the next few minutes. I'm going to show you everything about the camcorder. And also, I do recommend that you buy a little um, tripod. This is a small tripod. I'm going to show you in a few minutes also in the video. But uh, this will be good because you can put this anywhere, put the camera, and actually record your video. Uh, stay tuned in the next few minutes and watch my video. Thank you. Hi everybody, so here we have the camera and uh, I have everything here that comes with it. Now you get a small bag to store the camera in. You can always buy a nice custom bag for it. They sell them online. I will have links on the website, so remember to visit aramistech.com for the links to the bag that goes with that that you can actually purchase for the camera. You can even purchase um, a waterproof uh, case for this so you can actually use it in the water. So if you're out in the ocean or want to record some video out there, then definitely this is great. Um, it has a little strap so you don't lose it and uh, it has the cable to connect it directly to the TV because everything you record on this it has an output on the side of the camera right here where it will let you actually um, put it you know you put the cable on there and you can connect it to your TV and then basically you have uh, the signal right there on the television and you can watch your videos uh, basically the manual here and the warranty card that comes with it now the camera is really neat it has a 1.5 display on the back of it as you can see here and it has a quick point and shoot uh, option which is the red button you press the red button and you're ready to go and start recording it has on the side here a button that you press it and it'll go ahead and it'll turn the uh, camera on so now you have it's ready to record and it has you can zoom in and out by pressing up or down you can zoom here and uh, you can go ahead and uh, view the, the video you recorded by pressing on either side when you're ready to record video you can just go ahead and press the red button and it'll, start, it'll basically start red on the screen uh, on the corner you see some numbers and it'll start rolling and you start recording once you record the video you basically can point and shoot when you're done press the red button again and it stops recording and if you want to play it you can basically press the button here on the side which will play the video and you see it playing which is really neat and you actually has a, it has a speaker right here on the top which you can use to hear which you've recorded, which is also very convenient and very neat. On the side here, you have a USB port. You pop this out right here, and you can plug it directly to your computer. I do recommend that you buy a cable, uh, a male to female cable to connect this thing, because this is not gonna always work on your computer. You're gonna have to have a cable. They do sell the cables online, and I will show you a cable, what it looks like in a minute, and you'll see uh, what you need. But definitely, you do need a cable for that. Uh, on the front of it, which is one of the functions that I, I like, is on the bottom here, let me show you real quick, it has a button here to lock it and unlock it. Okay, and when you unlock the camera, then you could go ahead and, uh, let me unlock it here, you can slide this out, and you could take out the front of it, and you could put batteries in it. Okay, it uses two AA batteries, which the camera already comes with, which is really neat. And um, what I like about this is you, you know, some of these cameras have built-in batteries, so you can't take them out. And this, you can basically just switch out two AA's and you're ready to go and keep recording. It does last a long time. It actually does record pretty good uh, for the amount of uh, time that the batteries have. You can always lock it when you're done, so this doesn't come out again. Okay, and on the bottom here, which is one of the neat things also, you have a tripod. Uh, option here. You can actually buy a full-size tripod on for the camera or you can actually just use a small little tripod like the one I'm going to show you in the next few minutes. Um, on the side here is where the strap is. So you put a little strap that you can actually carry it around with you and you won't lose it. Um, this camera records a video at 640 by 480 
at 30, frame, uh, 30 frames per second. So it does have a good quality on the video and it comes with software. When you connect this to your computer, you have to install the software that comes built into it. Okay, it's gonna look, it's gonna look like you have a USB drive connected. So it's gonna actually show you that inside the computer and you'll be able to access the uh, software that's in it and actually install the programs uh, directly to your computer. The program that it comes with allows you to use this with uh, YouTube and uh, um, uh, AOL video. So you can actually upload in MySpace also, you can upload the videos there. So it has a different um, places you can upload your videos to. It is really neat, it has a little zoom option that you can zoom a little bit on the, onto the video. So it's not uh, amazing, but it is pretty good. And the quality of the video is definitely worth uh, taking a look at. For $124, this actually is a really nice camera. It won't break your budget and it actually works really good. It does what it's supposed to do. It records good video at a good quality. Like I said, it's not high definition video, but it is a good quality video. Uh, they do sell one of these, which is a high def video. It's a flip HD and it has um, high quality, high definition video that you can record and it's a 16 by nine. This one records at four by three. Uh, the recording aspect ratio. Uh, but definitely uh, take a look at this little camera. Remember to visit aramistech.com for all the information on this review and the links to the other cameras so you can check them out because they do sell uh, one that is smaller than this. This is a Flip uh, Mino that's just a little smaller than this. And they also sell the uh, HD one. So I will have links for all of those and the prices on the site. I wanted to show you real quick the tripod I mentioned. This tripod goes for $14 and uh, it's a small tripod. You can actually, let me pop this out here. It comes with the little legs that you can put to customize the color depending on the color of the unit that you buy. And um, the tripod, basically it's, you can adjust the legs any way you want. So you can put this anywhere you want to put it and basically record video right there on the spot. Okay, the camera at the bottom has a slot where you can actually screw it onto. And all you have to do is just screw this on here. And then you can put the camera and you're ready to record. There we go. And uh, you can adjust it and you can record your video on the go. It is a neat little add-on to the camera and I definitely recommend it since you can actually put this anywhere you want and record yourself while you are doing a video. Uh, so it definitely, it is worth taking a look at it. Like I said, I'll have all the links at aramistech.com. Alrighty, remember the cable I mentioned earlier, the USB cable? Well, here you open up the USB port, but if you look at this, it's gonna be uncomfortable to connect to your computer. So I suggest this cable right here, which is a male to female cable. Simply plug it to the camera, and plug it to your laptop, and you're good to go. Now you can basically connect the cable. This will make it easier for you to sync up the uh, videos to your computer especially if you actually have a desktop computer, which might not work. You can also take out the cable directly and just connect the camera without the cable. On a laptop, it's actually e easy to use because you can just unplug you plug it to the side of it in this manner and use it directly there. So on a laptop, it is pretty good. On a desktop, it's actually uncomfortable. The cable sells for about $14 online. I will also put links there because you can buy it with the color of the unit. When you're done recording and put all your videos into your computer, simply close it up and you're good to go. So definitely the cable works very well for this. I just want to recap the buttons that are on the camcorder. First is the uh, delete button right here, which you can delete the videos, the record button and the red button here. And then you have the zoom up, you know, zoom in and zoom out buttons on the top and bottom. And then the arrows on the sides to move uh, to the previous video that you've recorded or the next video that you have. Also the play button that you have there. When you turn it here on the side, you can turn it on and the camcorder turns right back on there. You can turn it off by pressing this button again. So just slide it and I'll turn off the machine. And here's the uh, speaker that's built in so you can hear the videos when you play them back, which is very convenient. On the front is the microphone, which is pretty good. It, it picks up your voice very well. And basically, you know, at the bottom here, you're gonna find the, the port to connect uh, an actual um, tripod, which is like the one I showed you in the video, or you can use a full size tripod. This is the unlock button, so you can remove the cover and change the batteries, the double A's in the front. The cover slides down. And basically, that's it. That's the review for the camcorder. Thank you for watching all of my videos. I appreciate it.